Hello everyone, hope we're finding you well. Today we're coming to you from Brown Spirit Society with a brief message taken from Our Daily Bread written by Chico Javier and the spirit author Emmanuel. We're reading from chapter 172, What Do You Awaken? As a result, people were transporting the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and mats so that at least Peter's shadow might fall on some of them as he passed by. From the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 15. All of us, through our thoughts, words, and actions, create a distinct atmosphere that identifies us in the eyes of others. The shadow of Simon Peter, who had accepted the Christ and consecrated himself to him, was sought after by the sufferers and the sick that found in it a special hope and relief, comfort and happiness. Examine the topics and attitudes that your presence awakens in people, with careful observation, you will discover the quality of your shadow. And if you are interested in acquiring the illuminative values with Jesus, it will be easy for you to find your deficiencies and to correct them. This brief but powerful chapter by the Spirit of Emmanuel challenges us to examine our shadow. Using other people as a mirror, we can see our own character defects. The things that you don't like about other people around you are often the things that you criticize most harshly about yourself. These are the things that we would like to change about ourselves, but quite often we don't really know how. One way for us to judge our progress spiritually is by looking at the people around us and saying, what kind of people have we attracted into our life? Are we surrounded by gossipers? Are we surrounded by liars? Are we surrounded by criminals? Or are we surrounded by good people who are looking upward, trying to make themselves better people, trying to improve in life, trying to evolve, doing good works for others? These are the kind of questions that we can ask ourselves, not to judge other people, but so we can use other people as a mirror to examine our own progress spiritually. Have you ever met somebody that walks into a room and just seems to light up the room, or has that sweet, loving energy that just makes you feel calm and relaxed and tranquil whenever they're around. Are you that kind of person that people say, there's just something about your energy that makes me feel good, or I just, just like having you around? Or maybe they say, just give me a hug, let me get some of that good energy. <laughs> By examining what kind of thoughts and feelings we awaken in others, we're able to take a look at ourselves and see what kind of person are we becoming? Are we moving forward or are we slipping backward? We hope that you enjoy this message, hope that it inspires you to take some action in your life, and hope you will join us again here at Broward Spirit Society, at our Spiritist Center, or on the web. Thank you very much.